First, we're going to start with the base, the base of our dress. And I have the half length of 16 inches and the full length of the dress is 58 inches. So I'm going to take 60 inches. Also, to fold the fabric is going to be, um, I'm going to start from the under circumference measurements. That's where I'm going to attach the half length. Plus 8 divided by 4. Waist plus 8 divided by 4. Hip plus 8 divided by 4. Then hip plus 8 divided by 4 is 11 inches. So at the base, it is minus 1, which is 10 inches. So I am going to connect the point. This measurement is same as the, the under bust circumference measurement divided by 4 plus 2, waist divided by 4 plus 2, hip divided by 4 plus 2. So you can use that as well. I'm going to cut out this front and I'm going to place it to cut out the back. And I'll use it um, to cut my fabric. So here I've placed this to cut out the front pattern. And for the back, bodies remember to add the zipper allowance of two inches which i have done so here is the two inches for the for the back the next thing i'm going to do is um open up the front so I'm going to place another material to cut out almost the same thing for the front. So what I'm doing here is just placing another fabric on the front. So it's more like I'm cutting two of the front bodies, right? But the length now, the length is a bit um, longer. So this side is going to be joined together. It has the same shape here. And the base is the same, but at the top, I have extra inches. Like I said, it is longer. So it is just like two inches longer than the basic, um, the one we cut already. So that here I can fold and on this part, I can attach my, my rope. So here is going to be joined together with the back. So it keeps, it maintains the same shape. But on the other edge, I have it straight. So I am not going to follow the same shape that is on the other side. It is just straight. Then in case you want it to, you want to curve it at the base, if you don't want it straight at the base, just like a design, you can go ahead and do that as well. Just creating something like this, like a curve. So I am going to be cutting it out, just the, the upper fabric. That's what I'll be cutting. So it is going to overlap on, on the basic um, dress. So I am going to be folding it in just like this, creating a kind of design at the base. Next is to cut the half length, which is um, 16 inches. So because it's an off shoulder dress, I am going to be subtracting five inches. You can make it four, you can make it five, you can make it six. Then to fold, it's going to be the bust circumference plus eight divided by four, then the extra two inches. So here I'm taking out five, that's minus five because it's an off shoulder. The folded measurement is same as the bust circumference measurement divided by 4 plus 2. Here I have my ham hole of 8.5 inches. And I have the 
the full length of the dress, I mean of the half length. What I am taking here is the shoulder measurement divided by two, but first let's cut it out. Now the extra two inches that we added, there's need to, to hide it first. I told us to fold, it's going to be the bus circumference plus eight divided by four. Then there's need to add extra two inches. So plus eight divided by four is 12 and I added two inches to make it 14. So here is the shoulder divided by two. I took in 1.5 inches. Here is the bus circumference measurement plus eight divided by four or bus circumference divided by four plus two. Then the under bus circumference plus eight divided by four as well. So I am going to be connecting the arm off from the 1.5 inches. And now we can cut. I'm just going to use this to cut for the back. So since the back um, requires zipper allowance, all you just need to do is um, place, place the pattern to cut for the back. If you like, you can still cut out the neck and if you like, you can leave it straight. So I'm going to be holding it in and it will come out just like this. And also because it's back, there's need for us to um, open it up. Now for the friends, I'm going to be um, measuring the princess that, which is four inches. So my normal that from the center front, four inches. And oftentimes you can go with um, the nipple to nipple measurement. That's the bust span. Remember here is a uh, under bust, the under bust length. And from the under bust, I have the nipple point measurements. From the under bust to the nipple point, 3.5 for this particular measurement. So my dart is going to come from this point of the arm hole, and I'm going to connect just like this. From this point, I'll be taking 1.5 inches, which will stop at the under bust. And here I have 0 0.5 inches and I have one inch here. So I'm going to be connecting like this to meet the 0 0.5 inches, then straight to the under, I mean, curve to the under bust, then straight down. So I'm going to be cutting out these two lines to give us a princess that but I also have um, tutorials on how to cut princess that bustier, either with um, off shoulder or without off shoulder. So for for more explanation, you can watch my tutorial on how to cut that. That's princess that bustier. Now at this middle, I can um, go on and cut out my desired neck design. The neck design, remember we subtract 5 inches. So I'm making my seven um, 6.5 inches and I'll be cutting out a princess that. So you can cut out um, a V neck or a curve. If you want it curve, you can go ahead and make it curve. Or if you want it like a V, you can make it a V neck. Here is um, what we have. And I'm going to be placing it to cut my fabric. I have done that. I've cut out my fabric. And the next thing is to cut out the sleeve. Now, cutting out the sleeve, we have to get the length. I added extra two inches. To fold, I need to follow the base because it is wide. The sleeve is a trumpet sleeve. So here I folded 12 inches. And I need to bring down my 4 inches to create my armhole. To fold is going to be the, I mean, 
here is going to be the round sleeve divided by 2 plus 2.5 inches. I need to get that at this point. So here at the top, we are going to be using the round shoulder measurement. On our fabric, we already cut out 6.5 inches and that will give us 13. So that's front 13, back 13 is 26 inches. 26 inches, the round shoulder measurement is uh, um, 39, 39.5 or about 40 inches. So that's 13 inches remaining or approximately 14 inches. That means we need seven. So here I have um, 3.5 and I connected to the four inches to create my arm hole. So next, we're going to be slanting the, I'll slant from that point to the base of my folding, just like this, just slant. Then I also need to create, because the upper part is a bit fitted, all right? So I need to get the measurements. The measurement is 13 divided by 2 is 6.5 plus my allowance. So I'm going to connect. So it goes in like that before coming out to the base of my folding. And I'm cutting it out like this. I'll be placing it on the fabric to cut. If you find this tutorial helpful, kindly like and share. You can leave your comments in the comment section as well. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell to get notified each time I upload a new video. So here is the trumpet sleeve and I have cut it out. Thank you.